Okay, Alexa Sates lost the power of speech, so we need to zoom into the nerve cells in her brain's temporal lobe. And once we're there, we've got to get the signals crossing the gap between cells so she can speak again. Each of those wiry looking things is a nerve cell or neuron, and each neuron's networked to a heap of others. The connections are called synapses, and there's a tiny gap that you can't see here, even though it's magnified 40,000 times. Those bubble looking things contain neurotransmitters, tiny chemicals that have to cross the gap and bind to the next neuron so it can continue the nerve signal. We've got to zoom in about another 10,000 times to see the molecules crossing the gap, which in real life doesn't look much like this, but you get the idea. We're looking at a model of a whole bunch of synapses between nerve cells. That red beam is the electrical signal that's travelled through the nerve cell right down to the end here. When it reaches the synapse or gap, it makes the cell spit out the neurotransmitter molecule. You need the neurotransmitter to lock into the receptor on the next nerve cell. That's the signal the cell needs to keep the nerve signal going. For a neurotransmitter to bind to a receptor, it has to be the right shape and have the right pattern of charge to lock in. So you need to rotate the molecules so their shape and charge line up with the receptor. Once they've docked in the receptor, the signal can continue along the second nerve cell. That's the basics of how nerve cells carry signals around the brain and our bodies. But in real life, it all happens automatically. The molecules don't need someone to rotate them into position. They bash their way in there. And there's not just one neurotransmitter molecule spat out of every cell. There are about 100,000 of them. And finally, we've rejigged the scale. The nerve cell ends, axons and dendrites, should really be huge compared to everything else shown here. But while using the right scale is good for anatomy lessons, it doesn't make for much of a game. One last thing. If you've already fixed Alexisate's colour vision, you might recognise that red band of charge we're using here for the nerve signal. In this minigame and the colour vision minigame, the red band represents a whole bunch of positive ions rushing into the cell. That's what causes the electric signal in every nerve cell. And that's why you go to all that trouble pumping positive ions outside the cell in the sodium potassium pump game so they can rush back in and pass a nerve signal along our captain's arm. <laughs>